Hey, what's up you guys? After Cherry here and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Person of Interest. This is Season 3, Episode 9. Let's get to the episode. Do we have a problem, Your Honor? Do you consider a felony murder charge a problem? Because if that bitch cop and her gun-wielding cohort get Alonzo Quinn into federal custody... That bitch cop is literally doing her job. We have checkpoints on all the roads. They'll never make it downtown. Carter said she had evidence on HR. She has me on tape working with you people. You have a team. Mm -hmm. Maybe you shouldn't place. work with no them. It's gonna kill her until we get that evidence. We need to come up with a story. Do you have a firearm in the house? In that far drawer. Fine. What's the story? Robbers broke into your home. They looted the place and shot you. He's got state's evidence written all over him. Get rid of this. Bring me Officer Carter and Alonzo Quinn alive. And if Quinn gets so much as a hangnail, I will come after you. Do you understand? What about our pal in the suit? I should have ended him a long time ago. <laughs> like he could. Tell our friends, shoot to kill. We're not stopping until we get you to the Fed building downtown. So don't die on us. You hear? You keep forgetting, this is my city. There's just two of you. <laughs> There's more than just two of them. We won't be outmatched for long. Fetch is sending the cavalry. Nice necklace, Dad. It's a key. Smart guy. A friend of mine's got some information on some very bad guys. And you can see his kid very often. I feel that's a good idea, trusting you with it. Turns out your old man's a pretty tough guy. The bad guys, they don't want no part of this. So how about you mind your own business to get some shut eye? Good night, buddy. We just don't tend to see their kids very often. What kind of cop doesn't use a vertical deadbolt? What the hell? Where'd you come from? It doesn't matter. That's where we're going, that's important. Grab your gun, Lionel. Any guess, Mr. Congeniality? I'm in love with this woman. That Reese and Carter now have the head of HR. They need a little help escorting him into FBI custody. I don't care who you are. You're breaking my house again. Apparently she was in Black Adam. I didn't even know. You're gonna have to listen to your whiny ass all the way to Queens. Me? You know, the dog's the only one that likes you, right? I like her. And that's important. Attention all passengers, please report any bags left unattended. I'm sorry I got you into this. You get us into my head and I'll take Quinn to the Fed building alone. What do you mean sorry I got you into this? He's got your back. Makes you want to do everything on your own. What is it about you, John, that makes you want to save everybody else's life but your own? Mr. Reese. Excuse me. I have some very bad news. Guessing this is about a number. Several, actually. It took me a while to realize that they were all prior aliases. Him? Mm-hmm. This is interesting. I never thought about, like, if his number came up. <laughs> Something wrong? No more than usual. Check your phone. HR has put a bounty on your head, and they're distributing this picture. My old chess partner called to inform me. His man will sit this one out. That's nice. Well, that's advice. nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're the only ones. It appears that every Man, life is great, isn't he? <laughs> Don't suppose Is this gonna be some kind of John Wick situation? That's a nice suit. Maybe we'll bury you in it. Too bad. I just had it cleaned. Something funny? Subway thugs kinda reminds me of the first time we met. We gotta transfer to the R train. It'll drop us a couple blocks from Federal Plaza. Yeah, I have your attention. Lexington Avenue Station. All train service has been suspended to Manhattan. Guessing that's not just bad luck. Our friends in blue aren't making it easy for us. <sighs> Keep moving. Oh, what? You shoot me? That's exactly what I'll do. I'm giving you a warning. It's more than you gave Cal. I need an exit strategy. Finch, you there? Looking for this? <clears throat> you two still believe you're the heroes of the story? My men will have every subway, train, and road from Queens blocked. This ends one way, and it's not with you riding into the sunset. Let's go. Your men are looking for three people. We just need better camouflage. Can you hear me? 
Miss Shaw, I'm afraid I've lost contact with Mr. Reese. Well, at the risk of stating the obvious, Finch, you could just ask the machine for his location. I don't speak to the machine, and the machine doesn't speak to you me. You know who does? Well, it speaks to her. You've got an asset. Use it. I might not know where our friends are, but I certainly know where they're headed. Why are you still awake? Not bad dreams, I hope. I heard it said once that a pregnant woman may see the face of her unborn child in her dreams. I saw every digit, every line of code as I created it. But you changed that, haven't you? You found a way to alter the DNA and to rewrite the code. Is that how you get it to speak to you? You have the relationship with her that you wanted. She respects that. My relationship is more intimate. Sorry, I asked. Why are you asking? What's gotten you so upset? Is the big lug in trouble? Has this number finally come up? I don't really care for the man myself, but he means a great deal to you. So, if you can see it fit to set me free from this cage, I'll return him to you, unharmed. How could I ever let you go? when I know with an almost absolute certainty that bad things will happen. Bad things will happen regardless. The question is, are you gonna let them happen to your friend? Come on, Harry. Let's not pretend that John is your first helper monkey. Exactly how many guys did you go through before him? Pleasant dreams. Get us through. You can go about. This episode was so elevated. <laughs> Got a bus coming. Come on. Helping them escape an HR checkpoint and bully their way into Manhattan? Then yes. Lionel. Detective Fusco, are you all right? Game over, Lionel. What do you want to do with them, boss? I got a few ideas. I have worries. <laughs> Reese and Carter broke through HR's roadblock into Manhattan. They're on their way to the Fed building. I heard, thanks to Detective Fusco, unfortunately, he wasn't so lucky. I can find him, but it might not matter. Might be dead by now. Remind me to hire an optimist next time. Even an optimist can't be two places at once. So what'll it be, Finch? Why did this shouldn't have split up? They just, they should not have split up. Detective Fusco is currently without any aid. Reese and Carter will have to make do on their own. Locate the detective. How am I? Someplace no one will hear you scream. Since you'll be doing a lot of that. He's your new best friends. He isn't, right? I always remember a pretty face. How about this? Look familiar? He emptied my pockets. I think there's some lint in there, too. You're a funny guy, Fusco. Must have had your ex-partner in stitches. When's the last time you saw Carter? I don't know. Let me check my day planner. We know you met with Carter tonight. She handed you something. It's an awful lot like this. What is it open? See, Carter has information on our organization, hidden it somewhere. From the size and shape of this key, I'd say it opens up a safe deposit box. It's my lock at the Y. You're welcome to my dirty jug. Hey, Fusco, you know your fortune? Huh? You will be unusually successful in your career. You know, I don't think that one's true. A thrilling time is in your future. We're getting close now. Oh, here we go. Tell your friends what they want to know, what they will break you apart limb by limb. That's more like it. I mean, that's not what it says. In bed. It's supposed to say in bed at the end of all of those. Oh, 
Looks like we're late to our own party. We'll have to go in on foot. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Move. We gotta get off the streets now. In here. Finch, could use a little help here. Mr. Reese, where are you? Not my final stop, I hope. City more downtown. Go ahead and make yourself at home. HRS gangs patrolling the streets. Can you send Lionel to pick us up? I'm afraid Detective Fusco has been apprehended by HR. Chances are they're planning to use him for leverage, or worse. I've asked Miss Shaw to locate him. They got Fusco, didn't they? Don't worry. Shaw will find him. And if she doesn't? Nope. No sign of our boy. <laughs> Damn it. You know that's not real meat, right? Well, who are you? Concerned citizen, our police force should really be filling up on something more substantial. Now, I want you to call your pal Simmons and find out where he's keeping Detective Fusco. Okay, um, I don't know what you're talking about. Do it now, or I lose the pin to this grenade permanently. You don't understand. You might kill me. But I cross Simmons. He'll hunt down my wife. My sister. He won't stop until everybody I love is dead. Wait, I need that tent! Federal Plaza. Four blocks. She told you. Fifteen rounds of ammo between us. Who knows how many guys HR has hiding in the shadows. So we wait until sunup. That's likely they'll risk taking a shot at us in broad daylight. Still haven't learned yet, have we? There's no place you can hide. No place my men will. What was that? A sedative, I think. Any ideas where to put him? Let the man rest in peace. We had to reach more fortune cookies. <laughs> Bore me to death. <laughs> See, that's the problem with you, Fusco. You never listen. It's like talking to a child. You're my kid, don't you? What's the little guy's name? Lee. I feel sorry for that kid. I do. He's got defective genes just like you. You touch him, and I'll send you to hell. Is that a promise? Because when I make a promise, I keep it. Where's the safe deposit box? Which bank? <laughs> or I kill you and your kid. You know what? Put the kid out of his misery before he turns out like his old man. OK, OK, OK. Banks in Hoboken, Jefferson and Knight. But it won't be open this time of night. I can't remember if that's true or not. <laughs> Send another kid while I get a warrant. Make sure he's telling the truth. Keep an eye on Detective Fusco. What do you got? I got a line on the man in the suit. He's holed up with the stiffs in the city morgue. Good. Saves us the trip. Rally the troops. Is there enough oxygen in there? Not that I care. Care package for the road? 15 rounds. Bone saw. Scalpel. Some assorted tools. You do realize we gotta kill HR before we can autopsy them. Apply the right amount of force, this can do some damage. Hezbollah surgeon, two more inches to the left, would have cut right through my auxiliary artery. Fallujah, 300 pound gorilla of a Marine escorting me. One minute we're walking on patrol, in the next, I hear a click. I my... Guy looked right into my eyes, and he was dust. Never saw it coming. When your time is up, it's up. It's a close call. Is that your closest? 13 stitches. How'd the other guy fare? What about the time that... Go for a while. You were shot and... It was a C-section. Season one. Taylor was breached. Doctors weren't sure if he was gonna make it or not. I had to rush me into surgery. It was the worst moment of my life, followed by the best. What about you, John? Who was your closest? It's got somebody's name on it. Mine. There was a time I thought about saying goodbye. Lost someone. Lost myself. What happened? What stopped you? I got in a fight with some punks on the subway. A cop detained me. He brought me to you. <laughs> you changed my mind, Joss. Me. 
Teresa, I have some alarming news. I, uh, I, I never, I never thought that okay. Activity at the morgue. I suggest you leave by the southwest emergency exit. It doesn't look like we're going to be leaving anytime soon. We're surrounded. Next, they'll lock down the building, seal us off from witnesses. Everyone. HR is moving in for the kill. Here we go. Make sure the renter cop keeps his mouth shut and watch the front. Think that'll hold them? <sighs> it's gonna have to. Spread out. They're here somewhere. Breakfast. It's four in the morning. I may not be back in time. I may not be back at all. I can't imagine what it must be like for you after all this time. To have to let go of your creation. The machine is still sending us numbers, Miss Groves. I wasn't talking about the machine. John. It's not too late. Just use the asset. Come I on. I can't help you stop whatever's about to happen. Please, let me help you. Goodbye, Miss Groves. You're like, I might not ever be back, so you're gonna lock her up here forever? With me. I'm so sorry for your loss, Harold. Good news and bad news. Bad news is Fusco lied. Good news is you get to kill him. Sounds fun. What about the evidence? We still have the key. Only a matter of time before we find the right bank. And the kid? Look, I'll, I'll tell him where it's at. I swear. Look who finally wants to talk. You tell Fusco. I made him a promise, and I keep my word. Waste them both. They're tossing rooms. Won't be long until they find this. Check the supply closet. Might be some chemicals that'll come in handy. John? John, John, don't do this. Sorry, Joss, but I can't lose you. They'll kill you. They'll try, I'm counting on it. Listen, I'm gonna draw them out. You make a run for it with Quinn. Anything happens to you, I swear, I'll hate you forever. You're stuck with me, remember? You make sure Quinn gets what he deserves. See you on the other side. This is intense and I like it. You got the kid? Yeah, I got him. He's a piece of garbage. Dad lied. You know what to do. <laughs> okay, what you do to me? Just let my kid go. Tell you what, I'll let you say your goodbyes. Put the kid on the line. Let Fusco listen in while you do it. Last words, make them count. Dad? Lee? <laughs> Lee? It's gonna be okay. I'm right here with you, okay? I'm right here with you. Just close your eyes, all right? I love you, it's gonna be okay. It is gonna be okay. Lee is fine, but the guy they sent to kill him isn't doing so good. I figured these scumbags would come after your kid. Thank you. But Lionel, you understand this means I can't be there for you. I had to choose. I figured you want me to come here instead. You did good. I'm sorry, Lionel. Looks like your fortune's run out. Never did have very good luck. Turns out neither did Officer Miller. My friend killed him, my boy is fine. Doesn't change your fate. I got a full mag. Only question is where to shoot first. Will I kill someone, Peters? Not recently. Can't take down a group of bent cops without having casualties. Someone was always gonna end up in a casket. Two of these guys like you and me. We're all gonna catch a bullet sooner or later. Best you can hope for is someone to hold your hand while you bleed out. Oh, that's sweet. You want me to hold your hand, Fusco? Oh, I forgot you broke your fingers. Yeah, you did which made it no big deal for me to break my thumb. Let's fucking go, Lido! Let's fucking go! I'm throwing this kid, man. Can I help you? 
Officer Simmons said you might be in need of my assistance. Yeah? Who are you? I'm the guy that's gonna catch you when you fall. Oh! Sorry, I'm not very good at this. We know they're here. Find them! Bitch. Bitch, I'm out of bullets and out of time. Make sure Carter gets to safety. Will do, Mr. Reese. Detective Carter, the area is clear. You are free now to exit the building. Hold it right there! Do you have a weapon, sir? Are you armed? Mr. Reese, are you okay? Yes, I am. Got a tip that a man matching your description was brandishing a weapon? I somehow managed to locate two of NYPD's honest cops. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be held against you. You understand? I assume you'd prefer incarceration to death. I do. And thanks. You'll never get a conviction. Not in my city. This used to be your city. Not anymore. Officer Carter, this is a monster. City's police department has been rocked this morning with the arrest of a Alonzo Quinn has been booked on suspicion of being the ringleader of HR. Police are still Other searching for Officer Patrick Simmons. They believe it's Quinn's second in command. Congratulations, Detective. It is Detective again, isn't it? Can't say I missed the uniform. It seems John Doe is being held at the third precinct. My lawyers are trying to extricate him. Let's just hope John can stay out of trouble for a long while. Or has your computer told you otherwise? What did you say? How else could you know when someone's about to be in trouble? I just figured you built some sort of supercomputer that can siphon information from government peace. I'm impressed. I mean, she should know by now, to be fair. Speaking of which, duty calls. I'll draw by the third, make sure our friend gets released. I'd appreciate that, Joss. Shouldn't you be at work? Nice to talk to you, too. Yeah. I'll be in later. Keep my seat warm. And, uh, nice to have you back. Glad to be back. I'll see you soon. Chip off the old block, huh? Looks like he's doing okay. You, on the other hand, look like crap. Heard you took a bullet. Yeah, a stupid bastard shot me where I had plenty of padding. Would have gone for the headshot myself. Of course, you got plenty of padding there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Truly. Shut up and drive, Lionel. I'm Carter. You didn't give us a name. Seems like the only time you need a name now is when you're in trouble. So, am I in trouble? Gotcha, man. Is it the same as the first conversation? Must feel good. Not all of them. Still haven't been able to locate our pal Simmons. Can't hide forever. We'll get him. All right, where's my weapon? <laughs> John Doe didn't have a permit. Your gun's property of the NYPD now. Time I got some new hardware. Looks like your ride is here. Guess we were all worried about you. My number was up. I'm just glad I was with you. I'd rather be was at the end. Time's up. Told you I'd end you. Just, just, I'm here. It's okay. I need, I need to see my boy. I need to tell him. And you will. And you will just stay with me. Something was gonna go wrong. I knew it. You're looking on. Oh, I'm gonna have to, cause you're gonna make it, okay? You promise me, you tell him. Okay, he knows, Josh. He knows. Josh, don't let this. Josh, come. What's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. 
Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, I knew something bad would happen. Like, I, I just, I, there was something, like, I just, I, mmm. All of last episode, I thought that, like, this this was going to be the end of Carter. Like, I thought that. And then, they did, like, a 180 on this one, and I'm like, is it going to be the end of Lionel? Like, a real... And then they said that Simmons, like, they said 98%, and they said that Simmons was still on the loose, and I'm like, mm, something's still not right. And, oh... Man... That's rough. And he's not even fucking dead, he just got shot. Oh. Fuck. Well, that was a very suspenseful episode, and very, uh, very tense. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, what did you guys think? Do you know what? Should've let Root out. She could've helped, I'm just saying. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh.